Hi, this is Mike at On Point. Are you on Sage 300 CRE? Are you looking at the, uh, the accelerated downturn that's coming and uh, know that you need a, a work in process report to help you uh, measure your financials uh, and your job profitability to get to, to get to the other side? I want to I want to show you uh, what I would call best practice around that work report, something we've helped so many construction companies with over the years and, and helped companies get through the last uh, recession with. We've taught this at all the major conferences. And if you need this, please call us. And uh, so this is a custom one that we've done uh, for, for Sage Timberline uh, uh, CRE. And you can see it, it starts with, uh, you know, your jobs and your estimated cost of completion and your uh, estimated margins and that percent, and it goes on across to the numbers that fall out of accounting being your cost, um, uh, the billing that you've charged your customers, and then based on your calculated margin and earned revenue, your over or under billing. And then so very important right now in the climate that we're in is your backlog in terms of revenue, cost, and margin. So you know, when I, the CFO in me comes out, when I look at this, my eyes go instantly to the margin. Do we have margin slide on any of our jobs? And if we do, you know, why? Is there is there a site condition or something happening on the job or, or perhaps change orders that aren't coming through? You know, in other words, why? Uh, there, there's always a reason. And, and sometimes if we catch it soon enough, we can correct. And then my eyes go to over under billing, and and that's that, that's a there's a story there always, and a and a, hopefully a correction to be made, and then and then most importantly to backlog. Everything here on the left is as an after the fact scorecard uh, with a certain amount of of control, but the backlog is what's happening in the innings to be played. So I know that my revenue has has a certain backlog, uh, my cost has a certain backlog. So I know I've got that much ahead of me in terms of resource requirements. And then I've got margin backlog. And so I've got so much profit margin on the books to cover my, my overhead. And that's so important right now, knowing that, that we've got that uh, uh, on the books to cover ourselves. And if we don't, we need to know that so that we can be making plans and, and making the hard decisions. Uh, and then as I look at this report, as I go across these jobs, just real briefly, you know, in this 03001, you know, it's it's looking okay. I'm over, I'm over bill just, just a bit. Uh, the same thing with 03002. Uh, it's, it's, as I go across, I'm, I'm under billed as I am on the next one. And so I'd want to find out why is that timing? What's, what's happening there? Um, so that we don't continue that trend. If there's something we can do to help whoever does the billing to, to get that more current. I've got a couple jobs here that clearly haven't started their backlog. I've got a job that has incurred cost. Uh, we don't have the thing set up yet. So the main thing here is, do we have a firm contract? Why are we spending money? Is this maybe a warranty on a closed job? Or maybe are we incurring cost on a job that we don't have set up yet? And we could be recognizing revenue on the financial statements that might be well it's going to be important at some point when the banks start looking at our financials if they're not already so we need to we need to know what's going on there uh, and then as we go down we've got a job here uh, that maybe a little pre-billing on a, on a few jobs maybe pre-construction or material uh, nothing sub substantial there and then one job that's purely purely backlog and not kicked off yet so as you, as you go down the whip report it's it's clear visibility to the story on each job and things that the owners and execs, key decision makers, uh, need, need to be aware of. And then uh, for not only uh, margin control and cash flow, but uh, planning resource requirements and then and then where where the company stands and its ability to cover, cover overhead. Uh, the thing about Timberline Sage 300 is, is there, while there is a whip report, uh, there's a, we can, we can help you. A lot of companies do a custom one that's date sensitive and more of a standard uh, best practice format. And uh, we can help you with this very, very easily. 
uh, we, we need to know what you need, please. Please let us know. Call us at 877-213-3860 at any time. Let us know how we can help you. Uh, we've got a conference coming up, an online conference, free online conference to help construction companies. Uh, go to www.onpoint-software slash summer 20. I'm sorry, spring 20. onpoint-software slash spring 20 to take a look at the uh, agenda and the dates on that. It's it's the the, the last week uh, the last day in April, first day in May. I hope this is helpful. I wanted to show you a very powerful uh, web report that we've done at, at all of the major conferences for many years at Sage uh, Sage Timberline. Uh, let you know it's available to you, and let you know please if you need this or anything, please let us know. We've got very qualified, very helpful, friendly consultants that want to help you, and uh, we're here to help each other. So so please let us know. Thanks. Bye bye.